Hi, my name is Lou Gascon, and I am with Mr. Joe Cipriano, and this is the Voice 2014 in the Anaheim Convention. Thank you for letting us interview you. Thank you, Lou. I appreciate it. So, uh, Mr. Joe, what do you do? What do I do? Well, I'm a voiceover artist. I uh, am the voice of the comedies at the CBS Network. What's the buzz on TV's number one show? You're good-looking, very successful. Long live two and a half men. Um, I've been the voice of Fox for a number of years since it went on the air back in 1988. Next time. Anybody here a doctor? House is in the house. It all starts this Sunday, 8, 7 central on Fox. Then Penny's learning physics. Isaac Newton. Is that where fake Newtons come from? Gordon Ramsay and the producers of The Biggest Loser present Master Chef, amateur home chef. And, uh do promos for, for that network. I uh, have done the Emmys and the Grammys, and I do Hollywood Game Night on NBC. Welcome to Hollywood Game Night. Everybody's invited. Where each week, Jane Lynch invites six celebrity friends over to play games. And America's Got Talent uh, with Nick uh, Cannon on NBC. And uh, gosh, you know, you add it all up and there's something to do in a day. So um, how important is creativity to you that it got you where you're at right now? Creativity. Well, you know, and, and for you at your age and, and uh, what you're doing right now in school, it's incredibly important to be free and to explore and try all different genres. If you're interested in voiceover, you know, try narration, try doing an audio book. Um, think about doing commercials and, and how you can um, use your acting talents. You know, it's very important to, to learn the proper steps if you want to get into voiceover. And you and, you know, all the people that are at your school are at, at the perfect, perfect time in your life for all of that, so yeah. Creativity is extremely important, and exercising that, and you know, growing with that. For example, where I am now, when I get hired to do work now, they're hiring be because they've heard me do other things. So you you sort of get into a genre of what it is that that you do. Um, but what I really enjoy doing is trying new things and seeing if I could, um, you know, if I can expand a little bit and stretch. Um, and, and uh, you know, I was known for years and years as a comedy voice and using that upper register in my voice. But um, at a certain point, I decided, you know what, uh, it was Don LaFontaine, uh, the legendary Don LaFontaine, who said, you know, you really should use all of your voices. The voice that you speak in normally is at a much lower register. Why don't you start to tap into that? And so that took, you know, creativity. It also takes skill. Um, learning how to use that voice and going down into that register. And uh, fortunately, I was really successful with it, and I became the drama voice of the NBC network for about two years. So um, it was really exciting, and it was a new, um, new horizons for me. So um, that's how creativity, you know, can, can really impact you. So what are you working on right now? Right now, uh, well, like I said, Hollywood Game Night with Jane Lynch, America's Got Talent. Uh, the CBS uh, comedies that are coming out right now. Um, I'm working on a, a big project with Warner Brothers. They have a show called Mike and Molly, which airs on CBS. And uh, once shows are on the air for a number of years, they can go into syndication. So you see those shows, you know, in uh, early access prime, maybe around six o'clock at night before prime time starts up, or later uh, after prime time at eleven o'clock. So there have to be promos to promote these uh, shows. So I'm actually doing four seasons of uh, Mike and Molly, which the sessions have been, the last session I did on Monday was 88 pages. And uh, so it's, um, it's a little stressful on your voice. You have to take care of yourself, drink a lot of water, um, but it's an exciting project. I'm really happy to be on that. Okay, well, thank you for having us. Yeah, so tune in to NBC and CBS yep. and have Mr. Joe on there. So thank you for having us. Thank you.